Okay. Which of the following is the most likely underlying cause of this patient's condition? Abnormal collagen synthesis, deficiency in vitamin C, deficiency in factor A, um, mutation in fibrillin gene, fibrillin 1 gene, and mutation in the dystrophin gene. Okay, it's a 25-year-old woman presents to her primary care physician with a history of easy bruising, joint hypermobility, and chronic joint pain. Her skin is also very stretchy and tears easily. She's had multiple joint dislocations in the past, especially her shoulders and knees. Her father and grandmother the of the skin, and she demonstrates hypermobility of her joints. Um, lab studies show normal clotting time and platelet counts, and then the question. So it's an inherited disease with the joint hypermobility and the stretchy skin and the easy bruising, which screams Allard Danlos, which is due to a deficiency mostly in collagen five. Although I was reading in first aid and they said one with call with collagen three, but it's still that first one, abnormal collagen synthesis. Beautiful. Beautiful, right? Um, Ellis Danlos syndrome, right? Hypermobility, flexibility. So um, just so you know, right, they always test this one against which one? Which disease is they, they usually test? Yeah, Marfan's, right? And, um, you know, now going towards Marfan's a little bit, right? Um, just make sure you know kind of, you know, uh, Marfan's and fibrillin 1, right? That's going to be super important, okay? So something else that I want to mention too, um, since we're already on this topic, because you know I kind of like relating everything, but what is um, Marfan's versus... homocysteinuria okay so do you know the difference between marfans and homocysteinuria i know that like with marfans the lens goes like up and out like to the Um, the the lens goes the opposite way with homocysteinuria. Okay, that's okay. like the biggest. Sure. One I know to distinguish the two. Yeah, lens up, right? Lens down. Okay, but just remember that phenotypically they look very similar, right? Because homocysteinuria, right? These patients also have morphinoid like you know, characteristics. They're tall, they're lanky, right? Things like that. But one thing's specific for homocysteinuria, they'll also get a lot of clots. Mm -hmm. So that's super important to know because, you know, um, young people that get like strokes, heart attacks, things like that, you're like, how the heck can that happen? And they they look like Marfans and they'll, they'll ask you, oh, which one of these? Is it Marfans? Or is it, you know, homocysteinuria? And just remember that a lot of people will be like, oh, they're long, they're lengthy, they have long fingers. And then they miss the, the, the idea of, you know, having strokes and things like that. And so they'll pick Marfans, but actually homocysteinuria. That's why I wanted to bring it up. Gotcha. Yeah.